Hi guys, this is Ashley. Um, I'm back with my second video. I did not like how my first video came out. I thought it was really scatterbrained and like awkward and I didn't get my point across because like I said in the description box my boyfriend was here and I felt kind of self-conscious and weird because he kept like looking at me. I was like stop looking at me. But um so I consider this my official hair story introduction um journey things like that. So let's get started. Um I was natural until about second grade. Um my hair was very, very thick. I was very tender headed. It hurt when I got my hair combed and brushed. Um, I had very, very long hair when I was little. Um, I don't know how to like splice in the pictures into the video, so I'm gonna have to like hold them up. Hopefully they look okay. But this is ignore the huge Urkel glasses. This was my hair when I was in like second grade or so. Um very long, very thick, very curly. Um, after that, I had a relaxer um, until about 2004, my junior year of high school. I decided to go natural. Um, my last relaxer was June of 2004. I cut my hair the shortest it had ever been. Um, about a week after graduation in June of 2005, I believe. Um, but I chopped off the ends little by little. So here are some pics of that transition process. I had highlights on the end that was also growing out. So here's that. And this is, and throughout, um, my relaxed hair was pretty healthy. I mean, I didn't know any better. It was long. It uh, didn't break off too much. Um, I thought everything was normal with it, but I just wanted to change. I started to get curious about my natural texture. Um, no one in my hair, in my family, had really, really, really curly hair, and in between touches, I would like feel my curly roots, and I got curious, so I took the plunge, and I, I got my hair cut very short. Um, I'd never had short hair before. The guy kind of butchered my hair. It looked cute when it was straight, um, but. Like, it looked cute when it was straight, but after I wet it for the first time and saw it curly, it was kind of, I don't know, Michael Jackson-ish, Chia Pet-like, and plus I didn't get all the relaxed ends cut off like I thought I did. See those straight pieces right there? Yeah. Not cute. Not cute at all. I was called Aladdin for, like, the better part of two years, um... Yeah, those little straight pieces. Not cute. Should have made a trip to Divashan, but I didn't know better back in 2005. Um, but as it grew out, it started to get a lot cuter. I thought I could. I started experimenting with a lot of different styles. Um, um, and stuff like that. So let me see. Like that's when it finally started to grow out and started to look cute. And I really like that shape. When I get it cut, again, I might take this picture as like a, you know, guideline. Even though this is about like a year and a half worth of growth after um, I first did my big chop. Um, so, yeah, I was natural until for about four years, I guess. Um... I grew my hair to tailbone length, I think, in between 2004 and 2005. So my hair grew and thrived when it was natural, but the detangling sessions were just torture. It would I would do my hair every Sunday. It would take me like four to five hours to fully detangle my hair. Even then it wasn't fully detangled. It's still like at the root. It was like, Ugh. and I was like, what? What the hell? I did protective styling. I did deep conditioners. I did the curly girl method. It seemed like nothing I did mattered. Um, or my twist, my hair and twist. Like 90% of the time, it was so boring. Um, plus 2009 was a really really hard year for um, my family. So 
my hair looked like crap, so I just decided to texturize it, unfortunately. And, um, this picture right here is, like, I think where my hair is at. It's, like, you know, epitome of health and stuff, but it just got, I didn't know what to do with it, with those five-hour detanglings, like, nothing. But this is my hair about a year before I got my texturizer. This picture makes me sad. Hmm. Makes me sad. Um, my cousin, who is a hairdresser, did a texturizer, relaxer. Um, I coated my hair in, like, various oils to try to, and I told her I only wanted it in for, like, a minute or two, and, um, just to loosen up the curl. I did not want straight hair. Just to loosen up the curl. Like, I love my curl pattern, but just to loosen up the thickness. But, I should I knew better. I thought I would be the exception to the rule, maybe, that um, the texture I was going to jack up my hair, that I would just, you know, lose the five-hour detangling time, but still keep my curls with just a little less bulk. But, of course, it didn't turn out like that. Um, this is a few days after I got the um, texturizer slash relaxer. Um, and everything was okay at first. Um... Everything was okay, but then when it came time to get a touch-up, she um, did not just do my roots. She re-relaxed the entire length of my hair, which everyone knows is a big no-no. And I was like, no, but it was too late. She had basically, like, shellacked it all back. And it was too late, and my hair was on the road to, like, Crapsville after that, officially. Um, tons and tons of breakage. Um curl pattern absolutely obliterated like little wavy bits kind of here and there but otherwise it just looked horrible um it just wasn't feeling it so I had to resort to braid outs because I prefer my hair curly I do not like it straight that often so um it's one of my braid out looks it's like making the light do weird stuff so um yeah so, I officially, and then I, um, I got one more touch-up by another lady who completely didn't listen to me. I told her I just wanted her to relax the back, texturize, relax, we're just gonna, interchangeable. Um, relax the back, cause that's my, like, tightest, most breakage prone, um, hard to detangle section. But she didn't listen to me. I told her this was finer. She told me it was on my mind. So she just re-relaxed everything. So after that I was sick of it. I was like, you know what? This is too much stress. Um, I miss my curls. I miss my curls. So um, I had one more setback in um, August of last year, August 2009. I did the Just For Me texture softener myself. Coated my hair in tons of olive oil. And um did the texture softener immediately regretted it just to loosen up some pieces to make detangling easier but um it was stupid like during my whole natural journey I was addicted to like research um YouTube videos naturallycurly.com so I knew all the risks I was taking with going back to chemicals but I just didn't know what else to do it felt like I had exhausted everything else in the four years that I had been natural um trying to get my hair to stay to be detangled in a normal human amount of time and nothing works I was just at my wits end so but after that I decided officially I'm done with it um ready to go back natural and this is my natural hair I do not like having to rely on stylists and all that stuff so um yeah so I don't know whether to count my official last touch up as last April when the lady did it who didn't listen about the edges or the one that I did on myself in August so either I'm almost a year post or like six months so I don't know because the one that I did really didn't change anything from what I can see but um yeah so here's my hair like I said um I basically treat my hair like it's natural I do um braid out and I only wear it loose maybe two or three days a week um to make the textures blend um i've been cutting off little pieces and stuff like that see so, yeah you can 
you can kind of see where the relaxer starts and ends um it's like natural 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 bleh. you can tell you can tell so yeah um i do my hair once a week um yeah once a week wash well not wash but deep condition detangle see this is gross right here let's see if i can get it yeah see this is a perfect example curl 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 like limp bleh <laughs> gross little wonky curl not even a curl but like a whatever so yeah yeah so you can kind of kind of see where the chemical starts so back on the natural journey um i'm doing things differently this time last time that i um transitioned i would get my hair straightened once a week now i use no heat so hopefully that will make going natural this time a little easier um i already have tons of natural products from my days of being natural still so that's good i have to have a learning curve you know and there, it's always a you know fun little journey with curly hair but um yep so that is it let me show you the back my hair was about to like here but i'm snipping it off because i'm just i'm sick of it but i don't like short hair on me at all Bleh. I don't like it. I have a big old moon face. But, um, yeah, so. This. I don't know how this looks. I hope it looks like it makes sense what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, so that is it. Um, I just love the whole YouTube natural hair community, natural hair community in general. So, I wanted to take the plunge and come a part of it and you know hopefully I can save some ladies from making the same mistake in my opinion it was a mistake that I did and try to like stay natural stay strong um, learn from my tips and my journey and what I'm learning continually about you know going back natural after taking a walk on the straight side again and knowing better so Hopefully some of this can save somebody else from making that decision because I really regret it. And even if not, you know, it will just be fun to see my little trials and tribulations and successes. So, yeah, I'm ready for my, my curly worries to come at full force. So, all right, guys, this video was so long. Like, you don't know how you can get caught up until you actually start doing one of these. And the time just like, and the people like, okay 13 minutes but um anyway um i will be back with another video soon okay bye guys